peregrine falcons are raising a chick on the 53rd floor balcony of an Atlanta office building. Wildlife experts are tagging the birds to document what appears to be a growing trend. Atlanta may seem like an urban jungle at times, but it's still surprising to see wildlife activity at a high-rise office building. A mating pair of peregrine falcons are raising a young chick in a planter on the 53rd floor balcony of a downtown law office. This is our second nesting pair who have been here. And when you're here um, throughout the year, you can see them, you know, feeding. You can see them um, hatching their babies and teaching them to fly and um, really see all aspects of their lives. Georgia wildlife officials are taking the opportunity to ban the birds so they can document what appears to be a growing trend. And it wasn't too long ago that Turgon had pretty much disappeared from the eastern U.S., mainly because of DDT contamination, we think. Uh, naturally, they would nest on cliffs, remote areas, further north from here, really. In the 1980s, peregrine falcons were reintroduced along the eastern seaboard in natural and urban areas in an effort to boost their numbers. Atlanta proved to be a sustainable environment. The two birds that are nesting here now, we really don't know the origin of them. And there's at least one other nest in Atlanta, and possibly one or two more that we haven't really pinpointed yet. Look at that chick raising the roof. Oh, look, this is quite an experience. Experts hope the banding project will help track these squawking birds of prey wherever they may roam. Hannah Buchdahl, Associated Press.